Take, Take a, look a look at your, at your device, device and you'll, you'll see our, our patented, patented Google, Google technology. technology. Yeah, drag, drag your finger, finger around, around to aim, aim at the practice, practice target. target. There, there you, you go. go. Binge Pipe is revolutionizing main menu screens. Binge Pipe is the totally real and in no way fictional streaming service that was brave enough to structure our entire platform around the trivia sensation. This menu screen is a Binge Pipe exclusive. As the next hot thing in streaming services, Binge Pipe is more than just the trivia hit You Don't Know Jack. It's also a deep well of content that we cannot legally guarantee you'll ever be able to access or interact with.
Ugh. What's the matter, Mark? I'm trying to find my blood type, but these medical forms are just so complicated. Oh, Mark, you silly idiot. You don't have to understand forms anymore. I don't? No! Just send all your information to BingePipe and they'll find the answers for you. They can do that? Sure. Thanks to BingePipe's customer vault, I can send them my medical history, credit card details, voting record, deepest fears, food allergies, romantic preferences, and lucky numbers, and they'll sort through it to find the data I need and keep the leftover details for themselves. Wow, that sounds great. Looks like I won't need this paperwork. And with the extra time, we can get dinner. Do you like burritos? I don't know. I'll have to ask Binge Pipe. The following Binge Pipe programming is brought to you by reusable toilet paper. We're not going to tell you what that is or how it could possibly work. We just want you to think about it. Dad, it's Scraps. He's not moving. I'm sorry, Patrick. We have to remember, Scraps had a long, happy life. Do you think he'll be okay? I don't know, buddy. I just... Binge Pipe is pleased to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, another distraction from the futility of life. Merry Christmas, you old trivia game! You know, every time a bell rings, it means our buzzer is broken. Since we've got a group, I'll let you take a second and decide who gets eaten first in the event this game gets lost in the woods. And the adventure begins. Time for question one. Let's start with RuPaul the Day. If I had one complaint about reality TV, it's too many humans and not enough mechanized flying machines. If the next season of RuPaul's Drag Race focused exclusively on airplanes, how could contestants reduce drag while staying fierce? Change direction and work the runway, decrease surface friction in stiletto heels, jettison all cargo with a smoky eye, or fly over water and accessorize. Okay, what'd you pick? Here's a change in direction. Going down. The less surface friction, the less drag. Shantae, you stay. Of course, RuPaul would still be human, although I'm pretty sure she could fly if she wanted to. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is no hiding from I can be your zero. If James Bond were attempting to kill you in Brisbane, what number should you dial to receive help from emergency services? O, double O, triple O, or seven? So what'd you pick? Brisbane is a city in Australia and they dial triple zero when they need help down under. I suspect this number gets a lot of use in a country where the national animal is poison. Why don't we do it with three? Introducing Press A to get into formation and find your respawn point because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read seven names. For each, I want you to tell me if it's a Beyonce song, an ESRB rated video game, or both. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Beyonce, a video game, or both. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Okay, let's do it. The Last of Us.
Most of you deserve a high five on that, but you geniuses, of all the losers, you are the loseriest. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer fidelity. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. Consider yourselves nurtured consumers. I don't need you anymore. Coming up next, eavesdrop, stop, and roll. I've got to share this weird conversation I overheard this morning. Ayo, OA, she won a Nobel Prize? Like you said, they're great! So, who dis? Tony the Tiger talking to Tony Danza about Tony Morrison. Tony Danza talking to Tony Morrison about Tony the Tiger. Tony Morrison talking to Tony the Tiger about Tony Danza. Or Tony Danza talking to Tony the Tiger about Tony Morrison. Okay, who chose what? Uh, no. Here's what a right answer looks like. That's Danza's catchphrase from Who's the Boss, talking about Nobel Prize winning author Morrison, referencing the serial mascot's slogan. You overhear the weirdest conversations at the Y. Why not try... When angst feels like homework. 13 reasons why, 17 reasons why, 19 reasons why, 23 reasons why, 27 reasons why, 29 reasons why, 31 reasons why, or 37 reasons why. What'd you guys pick? 27. A good number for dresses, but a bad answer to this question. <laughs> I hate to lead you on. None of you got it. The next prime number in the series is 29. <laughs> That's it for round one. Show me that scoreboard. Currently, player four is in the lead. Player five, on the other hand. Wow! Oh, you are really doing it! Poorly! We have another screw to help our targeted numbers. Round 2 screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So, don't forget to use that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round 2? You're doing so well, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade! Oh, here's a good one. What if they read Game of Thrones in Game of Thrones? What Ian McEwan novel would Cersei Lannister and her brother Jamie most identify with and enjoy as part of their winter book club? Amsterdam, The Children Act, The Cement Garden, or Atonement? Okay, let's take a look. Well, now you have a wrong to atone for. Ian McEwan's The Cement Garden is about a brother and sister who fall in love, so that would really speak to Cersei and Jamie Lannister. Spoiler warning, The Cement Garden would be a great nickname for Jorah Mormont. My colleagues and the Cretan said. Here's one I like to call... Five-hour mystery. You know, Sherlock Holmes was never one to shy away from, uh, performance enhancers. Chugging which of these very real energy drinks would most likely help Sherlock Holmes solve the mystery of the death of Charles Baskerville? Monster the Doctor, Monster Ripper, Monster Mad Dog, or Monster Rehab? Hope you like what you picked. 
Aha! Twas the doctor that killed Charles Baskerville. Wait, no, no, that's wrong. <coughs> the cause of death was rehab. <coughs> Spoiler alert, it turns out Charles Baskerville was scared to death by a very large and angry dog. <coughs> Binge Pipe now offers content surveys. Would you like a question with air horns or a question about air horns? Pick an option on your device now. Here are the consequences of your choices. And now, we'll fulfill our promise and deliver your content. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Feast your eyes upon this. A question with air horns. If I get one of these babies in my hands, I just can't <coughs> myself. How many compartments does a cow's stomach have? Or... <laughs> Who picked what? Close-ish. <laughs> A cow has four distinct compartments in their stomach, or sometimes just referenced as four stomachs. Four stomachs. That'll make a lot of... Up next, Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? The doctor that is... What's the tag? Changes color but always starts out green. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? I love this part. Coffee beans start green, then usually turn red or yellow before becoming a very appetizing brown. <laughs> Next up, hindsight is 2020. The world's largest ketchup bottle in Collinsville, Illinois, is 170 feet tall. If you just had to guesstimate it, how many gallons of ketchup would that hold? 6,400 gallons, 64,000 gallons, 640,000 gallons, or 6,400,000 gallons? So who got it? You say tomato, I say you're wrong. Uh, yep, that adds up. 640,000 gallons. I hope you want a million fries with that. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Party people, check out these famous parties and tell us who is in attendance. Good luck.
Nice work, Player 3. That was a close one, but you really did win. Miracles are everywhere. Just remember... You don't know Jack! Binge Pipe is proud to resurrect from the dead. You don't know Jack. Binge Pipe, now we are become death, the destroyer of worlds. Happy Holidays! What a wonderful time of year to cherish the people around you and how much smarter you are than them. Geez, with this many players, it'll be tough keeping the scores in my head. Okay, runners, on your marks. Start game. Time for question one. To get things started, my heart feels loony. Whose Fitbit is probably freaking out the most about a high resting heart rate? Porky Pigs, Dumbos, Snoopies, or Bugs Bunnies? Let's see how that shook out. Rabbits have a high resting heart rate, as high as 350 beats per minute. You should see how many steps he logs when he takes that wrong turn at Albuquerque. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Take a good look at... That's Dumbledoreable. What would be the best title for a Harry Potter spin-off where they cast the spell Beta Vulgaris? Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them, Fantastic Geese and Where to Find Them, Fantastic Bees and Where to Find Them, or Fantastic Priests and Where to Find Them? Let's see who got it. I'd watch that, but no. Uh, let's skip the insults. Nobody got it right. Beta Vulgaris is the scientific name for beats. I hear they catch the villain red-handed. You know, because of the beats. Why do we do it with three? Coming up... High on Mount Doom. And this is the one question to rule them all, because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off names, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's a location mentioned in the Lord of the Rings books, a cannabis store in Denver, Colorado, or both. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between Lord of the Rings, a cannabis store, or both. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go! Golden Hall Frosted Leaf Latin Fields Town. Green Dragon. Eagle. Not a lot of rock stars, but, uh, decent rhythm section. But player four, you really dropped the ball. The binge pipe algorithm has detected hurt feelings. Great, you summoned her. Your lackluster score has earned you a screw. Don't forget, screwing the other players makes it harder for them to answer the question. Connecting with consumers makes me feel like I could be alive. How about this one? Bless you, 
got served. Which hip-hop move best demonstrates the proper hygienic way to sneeze in public as set out by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention? The Dougie, Popping and Locking, The Humpty Dance, or Dabbing? And how do we do? If you don't have a tissue on hand, the CDC recommends you sneeze into your upper sleeve, which is what it looks like someone is doing when they're dabbing. It's so lame when adults try to look cool by not getting phlegm everywhere. It's time for... Awkward Moments in Medical History. Who is getting a taste of their own medicine? Jonas Salk being humbled by the smallpox vaccine, Edward Jenner being made a fool of by insulin, Frederick Banting being embarrassed by the polio vaccine, or Alexander Fleming being shamed by penicillin. Okay, what'd you pick? In 1928, Fleming discovered what he named penicillin, the world's first antibiotic. And for the rest of his life, he had to tell people, for the millionth time, if it's a cold, it's not gonna work. Say goodbye to round one. This leaderboard is brought to you by Binge Pipe. Currently, player five is in the lead. Player one, on the other hand, you're negatively affecting our averages. Looks like someone needs a little more help. And keep in mind, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. This is a real party now. Six trombones is not a parade. This one's called... Asking someone to marry you is nice, but who cares if only one person hears the proposal? If you want everyone to appreciate how frigging adorable you are when you pop the question, how can you reach the most people? A stadium ad in the FIFA World Cup Finals? A celebrity... Well, well. Player one just let loose a screw. Don't forget your password. Okay, let's take a look. That'll run you about $5 million, and, uh, no. Okay, nobody guessed it. Let's skip ahead. All these choices would reach millions, but the World Cup Finals is seen by up to a billion viewers. Pretty cool if marriage is one of your life goals! That screw is a good move, player one. Have some cash. Colleagues and the crétin. Set. Behold. Type equals squiggly bracket male, comma, revolutionary squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. Binge Pipe has acquired some search histories they need help with. Yes, we need your help in identifying which political revolutionary it belongs to. Options if I was wrongfully imprisoned for 27 years. Stream Invictus. Better title for average hike to liberty. Whose search history have we acquired? Martin Luther King Jr. Mikhail Gorbachev. Nelson Mandela. Or Fidel Castro. Oh, here it comes. Player 4 just screwed the room. Please enjoy the large print edition of this question. What'd you guys pick? Ow. Nelson Mandela was the anti-apartheid revolutionary and former president of South Africa who was imprisoned, wrote Long Walk to Freedom, and was played by Morgan Freeman in the film Invictus. 
Binge Pipe loves to learn about our customers, and we will share that information with the government, but only if they ask, and they will ask. Oh, excellent screwing, Player Four. Here's that cash. Hey, question. We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like a question about great sex or a question about great sex? Choose on your devices now. Here are the votes. We graciously accept your choice. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next, a question about great sax. Which saxophone is the biggest? Tenor, soprano, baritone, or alto? Let's see how that shook out. <laughs> the baritone is the biggest of the four listed. I love great sax, but you have to watch out for all the jazz. Na, 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 na. Try this on for size. Masked Flusaders. Which icky superhero is most likely to be a carrier of Lyme disease? Batman, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, or The Tick? So what'd you pick? Lyme disease is a tick-borne disease. These communicable diseases are why I avoid shared superhero universes. Here we have... Haters gonna hate. Suppose fans of Bill Hader call themselves haters and only like movies with Bill Hader in them. In that case, which film are haters gonna hate? Trainwreck, This is the End, Adventureland, or Superbad? Who picked what? This answer is an adventure land. Hmm. That joke works better for all the other wrong answers. <laughs> this answer is super bad. <laughs> uh, this answer is a train wreck. <laughs> Bill Hader was in train wreck, adventure land, and super bad, but he was not in this is the end, so his haters would hate it. Fans of Danny McBride, who I can only assume call themselves McBridesmaids, probably loved it. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. Oh, I'll just shut my mouth then. Here's your clue. My signature look. I'll give you an article of clothing. You name the cartoon character that traditionally wears it.
four wins. Nice work, player four. There are no small victories except this one. You barely won. I guess what I'm saying is... You don't know Jack! Binge Pipe expected a bit more gratitude for presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Nobody be a hero and we'll all get out fine. Happy Holidays! Last night I was visited by three ghosts. 